email came back so quickly, I was impressed how well written and, and how, you know, and the excellent English. I thought it was a better email than the one I sent. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you know, I know that the editor was kind of tracking me when I came over, wondering if I had made it here. And finally I got to a Kishinau Toastmaster meeting. And then also, like Ian, it was about a year ago that I joined. So I'm pleased to introduce the Dutch to you. Madam Toastmaster, now I have to keep up the standards. And yeah. I'm making a mistake in my English. I'm glad we don't have a grammarian. <laughs> Well, as Trish already uh, introduced the table topics, is a session of improvised speeches. Why do we need improvised speeches? Like, probably we all understand why we need prepared speeches when we have to speak in front of an audience of 500 people that's giving you shivers down the spine, but impromptu speaking. Well, do you remember the last time when you have been approached by a journalist on the street? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do we usually do? I kill them. <laughs> Dima kills them. Uh, I'm not sure how you react. That was my reaction. And after a year and a half, I guess, in Toastmasters, and after being used already to this table topic session, to impromptu sessions, I find myself in the yard of the school of my youngest daughter, with a couple of journalists in front of me uh, asking moms to give their opinion because my daughter goes to a somewhat special school, she goes to the Valder school. Uh, they ask opinions of the parents of what is this experimental learning and stuff. And what the other moms do? They're like... No. They kill journalists. <laughs> yes, they kill journalists. And I am surprised to be there and grabbing the microphone and saying that, you know, if this was a religious sect, I would join it immediately. I love the school and stuff. After the interview, what was that? I am usually scared of this thing. So this is how I realized that Toastmasters helps in different settings. <coughs> we are going to put you in uh, extremely, extremely comfortable situations tonight. I am going to announce a subject that no one knows, I have prepared the subject. And the impromptu speech subject can be uh, various. From, so what? To, I remember until today, and Dima probably remembers this table topic, one of the numbers came three years ago saying, love is a salad. Please tell us about the ingredients of this salad. So the topics are really, really various. I will not ask you to, talk, to speak about uh, love as a salad, but uh, I will ask you simpler questions. In order to show you how it works, I will call for a couple of people who are used to it first, so you can expire for now. But then uh, the turn of some of you will come. The usual rule is that you do not say no, and especially we're here in a friendly atmosphere, so even if you are afraid, I encourage you to step up, to come here, and to remember that you have from one minute to two minutes, and Margarita will be showing, pay attention to Margarita, she will be showing <coughs> green when you have reached the minimum one minute, yellow at one minute and thirty seconds, and red at two minutes. When you see red, she will keep it up. But you have to keep in mind that you have 30 more seconds maximum. We will not cut your speech, but usually when speakers are more than 2.30, uh, they are disqualified from the voting. So, uh, let the fun begin. My first question is for someone who likes traveling and who has lived in different places. Where would you like to live? And why? Dima, where would you like to live and why? Thank you very much. I am Toastmaster and your uh, fellow members that yes. The place that I would li uh, like to live is of course Moldova. Why? Because I'm a patriot and I don't know why I'm a patriot, really. I was in different countries, really, that's, that's, that's true. I see, I saw different people, uh, I saw different cultures, I saw uh, different interesting things. My last country was, was Romania, it was Bucharest. 
a beautiful place. I saw it like 10 years ago, it was horrible. It was very nasty, it wasn't organized, lots of gypsies. Still, they are there, but more organized. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds strange, but that, that's the truth. Um, why Moldova? Because uh, my grand-grand-grandfather uh, fought for this country. My grandfather also fought for this country. And I would really like to fight for this country as they did. Thank you very much. So you see, it's not that deadly as it seems. Probably many of you were thinking what would you answer um, instead of Dima. And this is actually the exact objective of the table topic session because even if the member does not participate, does not come in front, at least they have the possibility to think, oh, if I ask this question, what can I? And you uh, accumulate these thoughts and you accumulate this experience and it becomes easier and easier. No, can I interrupt you just a second? I think we can give them permission just to speak at their seat because of the seating situation. Do you think that's fine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we should, think right. we should get them. Right. Yes, I did. Challenge. Because it's the stage. Um, my second question is the following. What makes you smile? Alexander. What makes you smile? But uh, I'm not smiling very much because I'm good at jokes and I love people to make uh, them, them smile. Uh, in my life I was uh, meeting different groups, people that know me, people that don't know me. And uh, always uh, they say, you are good at jokes. And that's why I love smiles and I love smile with people. And, uh, but also, that uh, brings the, the best smile, I think, in uh, my person is kids. For me, kids are making me the goodest and the perfect smile, in my opinion, because they are the nicest and kindest people in uh, this world. And I think kids are uh, separate and do kind of... Uh, Special as I say, <laughs> <laughs> because they are two types, I think. They are kids that when you look at them and smile, they are smiling, they run and they interact with you. And I think kids are like a shy. <laughs> and kids are making smile. Thank you very much. <laughs> Master, uh, fellow members, uh, my so, uh, okay. So you said so you don't give me a sign when I say okay. All right. So my ideal day would be like uh, like having uh, enough sleep, <laughs> just getting up maybe around nine or ten, just having a cup of coffee and uh, just maybe looking through some newspapers, having a chat with my wife and you know playing with my kids for a while. Then maybe going to walk. So nice. Well, I like walking a lot. So nice walk wouldn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Maybe going to a you know, park, neighboring park, just you know, uh, to enjoy uh, trees. I live uh, uh, next to Tindarion Park, so which is a, a nice place to you know to walk you know, during any weather. So and uh, okay. So and then uh, probably you know. 
uh, going to a nice restaurant and having dinner.